Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and in today's video we're going to be answering all of the questions that we received regarding the Pixel 5. Please stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, we'll be having our review soon. We received our review unit here on Saturday and I need a little bit more time to fine tune my final review. And just as a heads up, we're announcing our holiday 2020 giveaway. 50 winners so far, we have things like the Galaxy Fit 2, the Palmu Quiet, we'll also be giving away a Pixel 4a, and Xiaomi Mi Smart Band 5. So for the questions, I'll break them down in this order. The questions regarding the Pixel 5, next regarding the Pixel 5 case, and lastly, all the questions regarding the Pixel Buds. First question, is Active Edge available on Pixel 5? Unfortunately, Active Edge isn't available on the Pixel 5. The setting is normally available under Settings. Scroll all the way down to System, and then tap on Gestures. For me, a must-have is the Swipe Fingerprint for Notification. So make sure you turn that on. You just swipe down, there's your notification. So unfortunately, there is no Active Edge, but you can swipe from any corner to turn on Google Assistant. Almost just as easy, but you do have to touch the screen. So next up, what is the battery life like? Is it as awesome as the specs might suggest? Yes, it is really awesome. For me, I get a full day use, but I normally tend to do more social media and online stuff versus gaming. But we'll definitely do a battery review once we push the specs with gaming. And we'll be testing out our Razer Kishi and Xbox Gaming with the Pixel 5. So we'll definitely do a quick note on battery life as well when we do gaming. How does the earpiece sound during phone calls? And if possible, could you cover the bottom firing speaker to show us what the earpiece speaker sounds like alone when playing music? Yes and yes. This earpiece sound is crazy, crazy clear. I had a phone call with my friend and I decided to stand outside on the patio. And here where I live, it's really loud. So here's a short clip of what the outside sound is. And she did not hear any of that. I live right next to a busy freeway and right next to the freeway exit. So there's a lot of noise and she could not hear any of that. And I was just taking the phone call here on the Pixel 5. I was not using the Pixel Buds. All right, second part of your question. Could you cover the button firing speaker? Yes, I downloaded some free music to play on YouTube. Sound is coming out of the top, but the majority of it is coming from the bottom of the device. Next up, is astrophotography available on the Pixel 5? Yes, it is. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to try it out just yet. There's too much light pollution where I live, and the last couple of days, it's been cloudy. So instead of getting astrophotography, I'm just getting night sight, but we'll definitely try that out as well. All right, next up, is there an option to hide the whole punch display cutout? If there isn't, is the default behavior on the phone to allow the cutout to show through videos? This is what the screen looks like when you're playing a video. Let's go ahead and widen it. And unfortunately, that is what you will see there on the bezel. Unfortunately, there's no option to cover it, and that's probably because, as you saw, it will still show a little bit of the camera cutout. Next up, is the phone worth $700? Here in the US, we have four major carriers and all of them have deals on almost every single smartphone except the Pixel 5. So for example, the Google S20 FE recently released with T-Mobile. If you had an older phone, here's a list. You can get $500 off in bill credits toward that device. Would I pay $700 for this? In truth, no. I wouldn't pay $700 on any phone. There are just too many carrier deals and trade-ins here in the US that you should not pay $700 or more on any smartphone. And just as an example, I recently got a Note 20 Ultra that I ordered and I paid 50 bucks. I might do a video on it, but the deal is over. We'll see. Next question here is why is the fingerprint scanner on the back and not on the inside like other high-end smartphones? I can think of a couple of reasons on why Google would do it. I'm not sure exactly what the reasoning is. The Pixel lineup kind of does things its own way. And I think this year, one of those features that they brought back from the older lineup and after using the fingerprint scanner on the back again, I do like it more. It's a lot faster than other smartphones. And most of the time, by the time I'm unlocking, I'm checking notifications and I'm kind of done. You don't have to touch the screen at all. So our question here is, how is the feeling on the back of the phone? From the looks of it, it feels soft 
and rubbery or cold and metallic. For me, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic and it doesn't feel like high-end metal design. It's somewhere in the middle. It definitely feels sturdy and more premium than plastic. But again, with this design, I do, per I do like the fact that there are no fingerprints on here. All right, guys, so those are our questions on the Pixel 5. If you guys have any more, leave us a comment down below and maybe we'll get them answered on our next video for our review. Next up, we'll answer the Pixel 5 case questions. I do have a review up already. I'll put that link in the description below, but I'll go ahead and answer the questions. All right, so first question is about reverse charging and reverse wireless charging. Reverse wireless charging is called battery share with the Pixel 5, but let's go ahead and test out wireless charging. All right, wireless charging works. All right, let me turn on battery share. And battery share works as well. Next question, is there a difference between sage and black? I'm assuming they're talking about the cases, so green chameleon and basically black. The answer is no. The material is the exact same, it's just a color that's different. And if you want to see the basically black color, we did a review of that with our Pixel 4a. It's the exact same case, just different size. Alright, next up, is the fabric case durable? I would say yes, but I don't know if I would actually recommend it to everyone because it's, it's a slippery case. If I put the case in my hand and I do this, there's a lot of movement, whereas if you have a plastic case, there's a lot more grip. I like the case, but would it be my daily driver? The answer is no. Alright, so next one here is from Ryan Nguyen. Thoughts on pixel case, espigen, dirty hygienic, physician, wipe down foam case. My recommendation from a former lab technician is do not buy this case. The reason being is even if you wipe it down, it's not completely flat, so there may be some dirt and particles getting in there. Now this is machine washable, but I don't know if you'd want to wash this case every day. One thing I do recommend is getting some sort of sterilizer. We did a video before on a sterilizing case, and as a disclaimer, I don't have um, a lab to verify that there wasn't any bacteria after it was sterilized. So these things are on sale online. Use them at your own risk. They claim to kill a lot of germs. I can't verify if they do. Those are the questions for the Pixel 5 case. Lastly, quick question regarding the Google Pixel Buds. Mainly about the quality, price, and battery. Anything remarkable compared to Apple and Samsung? The Pixel Buds and the Pixel 5 was the easiest pairing experience I've ever had with these, and they work really well. So these are expensive. These are 180 bucks, and they're along the line of the Galaxy Buds Live, which retail, I think, for 170 but you can probably find them a little bit cheaper. And the AirPods Pro have been on sale for $200. But if I had to recommend one, I'd actually recommend it based on your smartphone. If you have the Pixel 5, go ahead and get the Pixel Buds. The gestures are a little bit tricky, but I do like a lot of other features with it as well, such as the notifications. You can get your incoming notifications. You can respond to messages without even looking at your phone. Pretty cool features with the Pixel Buds. If you have a Samsung device, I actually like these. For me, these fit better and they sound better but they're not as smart as the Pixel Buds. So thank you guys for posting all of those questions. I really appreciate it. And if you have any more questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.